grind hard to get ahead. You trying to go backwards. Feel us from the past. Pray the Lord block it all out. I was in love with you. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin Two Turn on this YouTube shit. Hey man, say man. Your boy is Liddy. Super Liddy than three motherfucking titties, man. Your boy just got done doing the crazy ass hot sauce challenge, man. Hey man, say man. That was just a little ass video, man. Today, your boy throat gonna be feeling that heat. <laughs> you did. Pause it. Pause. You did. But we about to watch the craziest. The craziest, dumbest GoFundMe um accounts ever created, you dig? You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know what I'm saying, be making accounts on GoFundMe and they need this for this and that and whoop the whoop this, whoop the whoop that. You know what I'm saying? These niggas always, like, they always put some stuff on GoFundMe, you dig? But some of them might be true, you know what I'm saying? Some people might need some shit and nothing, there's nothing wrong with trying to help people out, you dig? But at the end of the day, some of these motherfuckers do have some dumbass requests. And at the end of the day, some of these niggas do actually give out the shit. And we finna watch the shit of who people, you know what I'm saying, ask for this dumb shit. But I don't know if in that video don't show if they gave the shit to them or they, they did. Some of them might be smart, some of them might not be. You know what I'm saying? This is some my opinion. So we gonna keep on putting our motherfucking work in. Make sure y'all like and subscribe this bitch up. And yeah, let's turn up and, and do our motherfucking thing. You dig? Let's get it. Everyone needs a helping hand now and then, which is why GoFundMe yeah. was created. But like any yeah. other organization that allows yeah, you to yeah. obtain money with minimal effort, there's bound to be uh, some people just looking for free handouts. Oh, yeah. Creating music albums. Now it's no surprise that musicians have tapped the into the GoFundMe yeah, niche to look for any sort of money to help money create and, and shit, promote their one-of-a-kind music. But yeah, one gentleman you know took things a it's bit like to the extreme. Big, some, like, a man yeah, by the name of Pat Fraser created a GoFundMe asking for $80,000 oh, to not only oh, create shit. an album, but also to pay off his student loans. He claims that he uh, wants damn, to create nigga. a double album with two discs, a combination of 24 hot new tracks. He That's admits like that the album rap, itself you, will only cost about 10000 to create, that but that it won't be nearly <laughs> as good unless he's also able to pay off his that student nigga loans. Wanted I mean, how can you create great music with all the pressure of your student loan debt hey, piling up all around that 8, It's not like real really musicians really are under pressure really anytime they drop a new album, right? Exercise damn, equipment. Dude. Now, wouldn't it be great if you could find a bunch of strangers to chip in for a home gym instead of working and saving up the money to pay for yourself? GoFundMe member J. Allen R. Day is asking for $1,500 for a treadmill because without one, he will die, allegedly. He claims that running gave him his life back, but like any runner in the dead of winter, it can be dangerous to run outside. There's I also the possibility of falling, nigga. freezing to death, or, you know, getting like, hit by a car. And he claims two, that between two, the cold and the vehicles right. that somebody, can't somebody see him despite his reflective running gear, he's bound to actually die without a treadmill. Giving up running during the winter time the isn't an option gotta, either gotta, because he said, if I don't yeah, run, I go crazy. Well, it took him just over two years to only accumulate $375. So you might want to bundle up, buddy. Because it's going to be a while before you get your free treadmill. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure that you probably could have saved enough money over the past two years to what? just buy one yourself by now. You LPGA shit. Tour Funds. Now if GoFundMe has taught me anything, it's no matter how unnecessary the request, someone is sure to give but up their hard-earned really money to support like, it. So meet Amira know, Alexander. She set up a GoFundMe really page to try to raise $25,000 so that she could train for and then compete in the Ladies Professional Golf Association. Hey, train the 25 grand will dollars? be enough to pay for her travel expenses, tournament entry fees, and coaching and caddy fees. But the odd part, Damn. however, is that at the time of her GoFundMe page creation, she hadn't even qualified to even be in the tournament. She had to participate uh, and place at an amateur's event just to move to through lit. three stages to, to even hey, be hey, considered hey, for the shit. tour. And as of January of this year, she had only passed stage two. Yet she was so confident that she would make it to hey, the LPGA video. tour that she asked for all the money up front. Now I'm all about chasing your dreams, Damn, but the least yeah. you can do Go is crazy. work for the money to pay for it. The cost of living. 
Have you ever been on vacation and decided <laughs> that you're this bitch. maybe just not yeah, like going to go home? Up, well, boy, one person in this world knows what I'm talking about. Kadyat Youssef made this decision after her two-week vacation in New York City. So she set up a GoFundMe page in order to raise money in order so that she didn't have to return to college in Pittsburgh Damn. for a few months. In her words, she just wanted to she ride the wave of opportunity before returning to school. And what's funny is that back in 2014, another woman from Pittsburgh, who oddly enough looks just like this woman in this GoFundMe campaign, was okay, asking okay, for okay. $3,000 to be able to afford college tuition and care she for her mother who had just suffered a stroke. Thousand? And that's when she successfully raised $4,300. So why does she now want to put school on hold and live it up in New York City for a few months? Bruh! Well, it just sounds like a stab in the back to anyone who donated Damn! to her needy cause she back in like 2014, school, if you ask me. However, she keeps asking and people keep giving because hey. she's exceeded both of her goals. Shit. Vacations. Nigga, and speaking hey. of vacations, GoFundMe is full of people who are looking to others hey, to pay for that. their hey, vacations, they, they that. like that's Christina they Ong. They, they now I guarantee you that almost everyone Shit, has that dream they, place that they'd love to visit right. someday. Christina <laughs> Ong is no different, except <laughs> that she doesn't want to have to pay for it. So she just set up a GoFundMe page in order to raise $2,000 to pay for her one week vacation. And if Damn. all you're doing is visiting, what in the world do you need that much money for? She says hey. that she knows it's a lot of money, but that she needs the funds in order to cover hotel and food costs. She okay. must have some kind of shopping Go spree crazy. planned somewhere in there too. Go because crazy. you can book a trip to California money, for bro. way what? less than $2,000. <laughs> Not only does she not have the ability to save up for a vacation, no but money. it also I appears no she doesn't know how dream. to be thrifty either. A self-published book cover. Bruh, she if don't you've have ever no attempted to self-publish your own dream. book, That's you know crazy. that it can be no easy task. You also know that it can Dave, get expensive. Hey, That's where Danielle E. Shipley comes in on GoFundMe. She set up a page requesting $875 for a new cover for her self-published book. She does admit uh, that okay. she's investing more money than what she's getting, which makes quite the selling point for her campaign. And Damn. in addition, she, she said on her page though. that hey, she had been living with her friend in like Germany, like they but unforeseen Eat circumstances ugly, were forcing ugly. her to move back to the yeah, United yeah, States. Was, hey, you know, right around, around like, the same, same kid, time that the money is due for the new book cover. And why would anyone give their money to someone who admitted to not being able to manage their money wisely in the first place? Well, apparently quite a few. A as she's earned a little over a thousand dollars in just four months. Is she aware right that now. writing a book while simultaneously working a full-time job is actually possible? We don't want Yoga that shit. instructor training. Some people use GoFundMe for raising money for people with terminal illnesses or disabilities, Man. but others they use it to further their career as a yoga instructor. Brett Richardson started a GoFundMe to raise $650 so that he could pay for yoga teacher training. But it's not for his own benefit. It's so that he can, you know, give back to his community and offer positivity and light. It's not like he's going to be making money from his clients or anything. Moving expenses. Asking for money to vacation oh to California is one me, thing, is but crazy, asking bro. people to pay for your moving and living expenses in Los Angeles is hey, quite enough. A little woman little, named hey, Duniqua no, 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 requested $3,000 so she can move to LA in a desperate time of need. And hey, okay. what is that time, you ask? Well, to launch her career in entertainment, of course. Yeah, that's quite an emergency. <laughs> Birthday extravaganza. <laughs> This we all crazy. like to party it up on our birthday, crazy. but can't you get your friends to throw you a birthday party? After Damn. all, isn't that what friends are for? Well, Lindsay yeah. Diane set up a GoFundMe to raise $500 so that she Damn. can celebrate her 25th birthday at a music Damn, festival. Hey, she claimed that you know, she deserved like, it like, after the life that day. she's had to endure. Is she a cancer patient? Has her family short. been in poverty? Oh, no, right no, now, not at all. It's just that her cat died. Saving a relationship. Now they say that Bitch, money can't bro, buy you love, put that in the and you can't put a price work. tag on it either. She probably got the At least that's what they say. But as it turns bro, out, he, maybe you can. A man by the name of Azil Still Ball okay. Jr. set up a campaign to save his relationship. Yes, sir, 
that's uh, what we apparently need. Apparently, his get girlfriend that. was get headed to Miami work. for spring break. Hey, and they instead get money. of just get simply that trusting hey. her, he said that she definitely needed a chaperone. But he didn't have the yeah. funds to join in on the springtime fun. All he needed yeah, was a measly $300 yeah, yeah, for, yeah, for a round trip hey. plane ticket. Regardless, he was able to niggas, raise $360 hey, shit, to party it up with his girlfriend. Shit. I mean, save his relationship. Racks, nigga, at least you plane can get ticket. 360 shit. Have you ever made a mistake while shit? booking your plane ticket, but you didn't realize it until it was too late? No? Well, that may be because you're a responsible human being, unlike one bride-to-be. One woman planned her wedding to happen in India. But when she booked hey, plane tickets for two of her friends, she entered the wrong return date. In order to uh, fix the problem, she needed to come up with an additional $1,200, okay. which we all know is a lot of money considering she's yeah. already paying for a wedding. So she set up a GoFundMe and told I mean, everyone shit, to help spread the word racks, so nigga. that her wedding disaster could be fixed. Man, you know, why help little Timmy with cancer when right there's there. this or kind of crisis a thousand, going on? Nigga, niggas, Dave Grohl. He set up a GoFundMe page to raise $35,000 to Damn buy man. Dave Grohl. You know, the guy from the Foo Fighters and Nirvana? Who claims nigga. to be Dave Grohl's biggest fan. And if he can raise the funds, he'd like to hang out and high five and expletive delete. That nigga he then goes on to say that if it's money, illegal to purchase another racks, person, nigga, or if he saying. isn't willing hey, to sell himself, three, he'll spend the money on beer. Because he thinks that's what Dave Grohl would like him to do. If you send this ridiculous man any kind of money, he'll send you a confusing text filled with emojis. Now that's some kind of motivation. Apparently, it is because he raised a little over $1,800 with some of his donors coughing up 30 50 and even $200 donations. It all just leaves you to think, do they really have no better way to waste their money? And there you have it. Some of the dumbest GoFundMe like, pages hey, ever like, created. I have to like, give them the credit, fuck? though. Shit, shit, At like, least they're the being fuck? honest with their intentions what on the how they're is... going to use the money. Hey, but you what get, are some of the get, dumbest you GoFundMe you pages them, you've yeah. ever seen? Then and have you created any yourself? One would think that with constant access to the internet, we would be able to tell right from wrong and real from fake. But apparently, Google.com just evades some people. Bro, that shit is Join crazy. Join us as we have a look at internet hoaxes that fooled a lot of people. Charging an iPod crazy, with an onion and some Gatorade. Don't you just hate we it that when your iPod if it, if runs if out of battery? Don't you wish you could wait, charge bro. it up using a method far more complex than, you know, just plugging it into the wall? Yeah. Up, well, have we got news for you. Make sure you like and subscribe to these videos up, man. Make sure you like to subscribe to that video, man. That shit was funny, nigga. What? Niggas asked for, like, man. Niggas said, man, I might want to need, like, 300. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, like, 250. Big. You know what I'm saying? You know what? 600. That is kind of pushing it. A thousand a rack? Eh, I know you might need. Man, that's a lot of money, man. No, nigga. 35 racks, nigga. 60 racks, nigga. What? 100 racks, nigga. What? Come on, man. Stop going. Stop, stop playing with us, man. We want the big man. 65. Man, <laughs> on gut fund me ass for 65 racks, man. If you would have got that money, man, you would have been the heist of the year, bro. That shit would have been crazy, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe these videos up, man. This shit was funny as hell, bro, man. These go fund me's are. Dummy funny, bro. Make sure y'all fuck with these motherfucking videos, man. We got a whole bunch of videos coming up, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to these videos up, man. We did that motherfucking thing. We out this bitch in the gang. Straight in the hood and outside shit, you dig in this bitch. Gang. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Hey, Dad. You know that when we link up, dog. This shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so. Kodak everywhere.